Greetings, patrons. Happy Halloween. Jay O'Keefe back with another uh, general update. So, elder thing, still waiting in the wings. Uh, haven't had gotten word back from the foundry yet. Uh, they're, they're busy folks, you know. They're all uh, work various uh, labor jobs, and they're trying to keep busy while the school's shut down, and pretty much got a skeleton crew in there, and... Uh, None of the people that are currently there have the access or the uh, or, or or even the relationship with me to let me in. So, unfortunately, this guy's on hold. Um, and uh, but I've updated him enough. Let's see. Uh, this is the Harry Potter quoting plaque. I've made a lot of progress on this since the last time I posted it in April, I think. Uh, so this would be, you know, Harry Potter quoting plaque uh update number three i think um so i added some little creatures to it because it says please do not feed the birds and other wing creatures i'm like you, you know if this is a j uh special i have to add creatures uh and i looked up the jk rowling you know mythos creatures and uh the crimes of grindelwald which i haven't seen i'm not a giant Harry Potter fan. Uh, I mean, I like all the creatures and stuff, but I don't know the movies. Not my thing, really. Uh, or the books. But not to say uh, I might not change someday. Sometimes things nostalgically become my thing later down the line. I'm just... I usually don't jump in the bandwagon. Because uh, I have... Uh, you know, I got plenty. Plenty of creative uh, outlets. So, here we go. Um, foopers looking down. These guys, apparently, they're like these, um, little like owl like, cute little owl like creatures that cause madness. So I figured, yeah, let's like not feed these guys. So they're coming around driving the neighborhood crazy, you know. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to kill two birds with one stone when I get in to finish this guy. I'll also bring up this plaque, and uh, I'm I remember at the foundry I worked at that we, uh, for years that, you know, when we did plaques, it was just tons of sprues, tons, 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 you know, like a grid work of them. And like the finishing was a big pain in the butt, but the sprues helped keep it from warping. Uh, and also like when the metal pours on the flat surfaces, just, it's very likely to cool where you'll just end up with like holes with nothing, where it just froze and, and left places bare. And you don't want that. So that's why you want as many sprues as possible. So it's literally the hot metal flows everywhere as quickly as possible before it freezes and you don't end up with holes in your plaque. Because uh, that would be unfortunate. So, and I'll, I'll add some hangers uh, into the, that's one thing I could do is, is add some little wax sculpture, just something that like, that could, you could hang over screws. Like, you know, whether you're putting it in drywall or, uh, or, you know, uh, masonry or whatever. But, um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, but, you know, until I hear, f when I hear from my, my teacher, Sarah, I'll, I'll get going on that. Um, and, uh, should just be, you know, a few hours worth of work, um, left on that. And until it's in the metal phase, which I'm eager for, but unfortunately I'm not holding my breath at this point. Um, and then, uh, this is why, this is what I've been up to lately. I've, it's been all computer stuff. I've been doing organizing and I've had this, uh, Google Drive, uh, folder for a long time, uh, with many folders inside with my maps and, uh, here's the Prudia Bestiary is, uh, all the, all the, uh, you know, uh, posts on Patreon uh, the monster entries they've that I've done they're all on here uh, you know backed up in the Google Drive uh, and then I create the PDFs in another folder and, and share them over but uh, now I'm starting to put it all together uh, in sections so you got an introduction here inscrutable land of the moops and tag inscrutable land of the moops is basically done I came up with like a, a template for the creatures that's like a faux stat block so that you don't even like 
whatever rule system you know you can kind of just drop these in any RPG you want and then uh, my all my old stats were were using Pathfinder 1.0 rules which is like a well it's, it was a popular role playing game for a while but it's it's lost popularity and d and is kind of the king right now which as it, I guess is as it should be um, and uh, yeah he has Antag which is gonna is the next one I'm working on so you know you can see that there's Without me going through every every word and detail, you can see that I've been busy. Um, let's see. Uh, here's the uh, PDF, which I'm going to be sharing this uh, uh, first of the year. Or not the first of the year, but basically in January, I think I'm going to start releasing the pieces that I've done of the of the bestiary. Starting with the Inscrutable Land of the Moops and, uh, it's, and the intro, basically that describes how to read the book and everything. So I'm excited about all that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I hope you're all, you know, uh, having a happy and safe Halloween. Uh, and uh, I hope you're all voting. And, uh, yeah, and I hope that the... I hope somehow we find ways to uh, brighten our days coming ahead instead of this uh, winter's coming... Uh, you know, uh, Game of Thrones referencing that's going on. Uh, but, uh, yeah. All right. Well, thanks again for your patronage. And hopefully I didn't bore you too much. Um, expect uh, more posts coming soon. Uh, uh, AK, namely, uh, you know, Emperor Megadead here. Whoop -doo. Did I show this guy already? I probably did. You full screen. I think I did. Right? Energy mogul... Uh, Failed rock and roll star, uh, cyborg, zombie guy. Anyway, can't really see him, but that's it's for the best, right? Because save something for later, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Peace.